Don't call me cook. Time to get sauced up. Time to get sauced up. Time to get sauced up. Super Saiyan juice. No way, yeah, yeah. Time to get sauced up. Time to get sauced up. Time to get sauced up. Super Saiyan juice. Say yeah. Shouts out to everyone helping me keep the lights on over on the Patreon. That's where I have uncut reactions and exclusive content that does not come here to YouTube. Also, did you know we have a Discord community and also a Twitch channel where I go live reading manga and manhwa and also doing live reactions? You might want to join that. And last but not least, if you want to catch reactions here on YouTube early, become a channel member. Other than that, let's get this rocking. And we are back with another Mushoku Tensei reaction i don't know exactly where we're going with this right now but i know they're building something obviously the sisters in the school she's not really coping well again are, are is she not going to class you know she, like she got caught out in the middle of the hallway saying oh i don't know what class this at i'm like bro you've been here for like a month and you still don't know what you don't know where your class is at? Like, how, I don't. I think something's up. And then you see her at the end of the episode sitting in a room under a blanket. So I'm really interested to see how this starts to develop. If you guys want to continue this journey with your boy, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell so you don't miss any future uploads. And if you guys want to catch us early and uncut, you can, one, check us out on Twitch because we're live right now. But two, if you're like, I can't make the streams, bro. I can't do that. Check out the Patreon link in the description box below. Other than that, are you guys ready to go, chat? Are you ready to go? Let's do it. Buzza. I think he's being bullied. Norun Gamoshi, Onaji Jigoku, Ajiba Tiru to you no Nara, whatever Sokora Squidash Tiarita. I shall not go to Kinaide. So steam on a joke yoga Zimbu Kiniko and I don't want to eat him. I may got that angry face on. People are terrified. Stressimus. あの人と Hmm. Here's the interesting thing. I think, I think he's, I think he's jumping the gun. He might be assuming something that actually isn't happening. It may be something completely different. Maybe she just misses her dad. She doesn't want to be there. すみません。どうぞ。こ、この間私ノルンちゃんとちょっと話してて。つい、ひどいことを言ってしまったと。違います。私ノルンさんのことを知ってて、でもお兄さんとは違うねって言ったらすっごく怒って。あ、怒った。
何をするって。Honestly, bro, it's like he hasn't even thought about like maybe I can just. First of all, just asking like one first apologizing, right? But after that, like really trying to understand what your sister wants to do. Mm -mm. I don't trust it. So, okay. You're gonna sneak into the girl's dorm? Right. Will she? Willie, I don't know, bro. I'm just gonna drop back down the hole. Is he just gonna drop back down that hole or something? Mm. Stay out. Ayo, that's cold. Ayo, that was cold. That was cold, bro. He hurt himself. Oof. Oof. Yeah, that was different. Mm. 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 You know what's crazy? It's like at that point in time, he he's basically saying like he, he came with me all these common sense solutions. He's not ready to hear it. So regardless of any of that, he he's not receiving it. Regardless if they're common sense or not, he's in a particular funk. You need to help him get out of the funk first. You know what I'm saying? Just get him to talk and figure out what's going on versus Solution, solution, solution. This is what you should do. You should be doing it. Da, da, da. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not helping him at all. Mm. Mm. Like, you have to like have to be in the right place at the right time. いつからだろう。この人を恐ろしいと思うようになったのは初めて会った時、この人はお父さんを名乗っていた。もうやめて。こんな人が家族だなんて認められるはずなかった。そう、he like you were, she was a baby, baby. She don't know you. So the first time she sees you, you just putting hands on her pops. He's not thinking of that. It's like, bro, family or not, she doesn't know who you are. The first time she saw you, you was putting hands on her daddy. You know what I mean? <laughs> この人はとても幸せそうだった。No one here cares about me. So was this was this like a ploy of seeing if she actually if he actually cared to be like no you're going to stay here with us? You know what I'm saying? Like was that what she wanted to she wanted to see if he would say no you're staying here like oh well Maybe I'll let you go. Mm. Maybe he's not interested in me. See? So it's so interesting. Because she's so young, she doesn't understand the context and the nuance of what, of what he was thinking. Right? And because he isn't old enough to understand how to communicate that properly, they both just missed. You know what I'm saying? Versus saying, okay, I'll let you do that. And saying, okay, so you want to live in the dorms. Why is that? Well, I want to do this, blah, blah. All right, well, I would love to have you here. However, if you want to be in the dorms because you want space, 
you know, you want some space, you don't feel comfortable yet or whatever. Let's compromise. Let's do something here because I want you here. Like, cause she, he, he, he came on it from a different perspective. All right, cool. But you got to come back every once a month or something like that. It's like, you said it after the fact, there was no discussion. It was just like, I'm going to think about it, process it, tell you what you're doing. There was no back and forth with it. Right. And why she asked the question in the first place. すげえ。妹ってことはマジとかお兄さんに習ってるのか?何それ。じゃあ、あなたもマジとの天才なの?お兄さん、すごいよね。とても強いし。いいな。俺もあんな兄ちゃんが欲しいぜ。えっと。
すごい子だ彼女は生前の俺にできなかったことをやったのだこじれてしまった家族との仲は戻らない兄貴の真意も何もかもが闇の中だただ長い間奥歯に挟まっていたものが取れたような気がしたもし七星が元の世界に帰る時が来たらその時は兄貴に一つ伝言を頼もう,うあの時はごめんなさい、うん、そしてありがとうとうふ Bro that that is deep that episode is so deep bro、oh. man that episode is deep man I think too like he, he obviously doesn't he's like I don't know what I did it's like I don't know what's wrong with her. Like, you don't really know what's wrong. You don't know what you did, but you did what we were supposed to do. You know, like, the apology was huge, right?、They're, they'll get better at communicating for sure, but I think it was just more so of him, like, having to recognize, like, all right, where am I at? I'm in my brother's position. What did he do? How did I respond? Okay, I can't, I can't do that because it didn't, I, it didn't work with me at all. You know what I mean? And I think, too, because I'm an older brother, like there's obviously some similarities in the perspective of wanting to make sure that this person can, you know, hey, I need you to do this and that, as opposed to just hearing people out. You know, we wanted to help solve problems. And I've learned from experience that that's, you, you can't just jump into problem solving mode because they, There's something else bothering them. You know, and a lot of times it could be that of a comparison. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, you're just, you're the younger brother, such and such, or you, this is your daddy, blah, blah. Like, I can't imagine, I can't imagine like kids, sons of star athletes. Oh, you're LeBron James' son. You're Michael Jordan's son. Like the level of expectation. And it's like you don't even have an identity anymore. You're just the younger brother, the son, the daughter of. You know what I mean? Like it's such a. It's so hard to escape that. And I can imagine like not feeling like you have your own identity is, is trapping enough. But then on top of that, you having this whole traumatic situation with your brother and your dad. And viewing that, now your dad's saying you're gonna go stay with him, and everybody's saying how great of a person your brother is, but you're like, I haven't seen it yet. I don't know what you're looking at. Very reminiscent to Boruto, by the way. Very reminiscent to Boruto. I don't see my dad. Y'all, everybody talks about how great he is. Where is he at? I don't ever see him. I don't ever see him. He trains, yeah, I, he hasn't trained me. I don't know where he's at, right? Very similar. So, I love it. I love it. This episode was fantastic. Let me know your guys' thoughts, man, in the comments. How are you guys feeling? I would love to know your guys' thoughts. Again, we are currently live here on Twitch. If you guys want to join us live, we go live every Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday,、um, watching anime, reading manhwa, and obviously with this whole Drake、um, uh, Kendrick situation, we go live for those as well. So, if you guys want to continue catching those, Join the Twitch. And if you guys can't catch the lives and want to catch things early and uncut, check out the Patreon. Other than that, I will catch you guys in the next one.